Hey everyone, this is Jerry Turbo Days here. I want to make a post game video. This might be the earliest video I've ever made for a video uh, for a, a football game because right now it's like 7:30 in the morning my time. You know, I it, I'll tell you about this game. Uh, the I think the fans got to him for him coming back or something. You know, he got emotional, possibly. Um, it was a pretty cool moment, you know, but remember, you're on the Broncos, and we took you in when they wanted you out. So, um, I don't understand what happened, but you know what, this game, it wasn't the defense, to be honest. You can't... You can't expect them to hold uh, to field goals, you know, on uh, when, when they're when the other team is on the 12, 12 yard line on the you know in our territory, you know. I think yeah, they gave up sixteen points from turnovers at least. Uh, at one point, uh, at the end of the second first half, I just felt like uneasy, unsettled. Didn't think this team was going to come back. You know, I think we dug ourselves too much of a hole with super critical plays that you just don't give up. You don't give up a two-point conversion or, uh, or uh, a safety and then another touchdown. You know, you don't do that. And uh, you also don't. Um, Trenton Holiday got stripped, uh, you know, before going out of bounds, which he needs to hold on to the ball or just get the heck out of the bounds, you know. And... That cost, you know, that gave a uh, gave them a nice, uh, nice position to score points. So, you know, I felt uneasy. I felt unsettled. Um, I think this loss will calm them down with all the expectations and everything. Um, if we if we should lose a game, this should be the game. You know, uh, we didn't. You know, we they didn't play their perfect game. They didn't play their um, best. So they deserve to lose, <laughs> straight up. You know, ba you know, basic and forward. I think the defense actually played pretty darn good, um, holding Andrew Luck pretty well. Um, there was no Wesley Woodyard. There's no excuses. There was. I don't think there was Robert Ayers. I think I don't know if he played or not. But um, no Duke and Nacho, which would you know, if we can get all those guys on the team again, that'd be really good. Orlando Franklin didn't play. I don't know if that pl played any factor in it. Um, but there's just some very stupid mistakes, and like a couple of the interceptions were gifts, you know, to the opposing team. So it was Manning's worst, not not just Manning, but it was the Broncos' worst game so far, possibly, you know. Um, so you know, this is the first Crow video of the year, and this is gonna kind of calm our team down, I think. People. The fans were saying, you know, 19 and 0 and all this other crap. This, oh, we're gonna go undefeated, and it's time for them to shut up and move aside. And um, so, uh, but hopefully now this is a, a wake-up call for the Broncos team. Um, hopefully now people can maybe burn their Manning jerseys in, in peace for uh, the Colts. Um, this is like like the one last time or whatever that um, their Manning jerseys for the Colts can stay relevant. So, oh yeah, let's wear our Manning jerseys um, at the Colts game. You know, it's like you know you gotta you know Andrew Luck is a pretty darn good quarterback. You know, like I said, I've seen him before in person in action. He can he he's excellent. And you guys, you know, you ended up going for him and. Uh, Hope you guys enjoy, you know, enjoyed that win. Um, it, it was, too, we, it was kind of like at the end, it was kind of like a big tease, like we could actually come back and win. Um, we've had many, we had many games like that uh, a few years ago, where oh, we can possibly, you know, come back and win, and uh, and, and and you know, and and, and 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 win, but it was like. It wasn't happening. This game was over by the first half, it felt like, to me. Um, it wasn't like I was quitting on the team or whatever, but I didn't see, I don't know, there was something about it. There was, like I said, there in my heart there was a uneasiness, and it just didn't work out. So, And, uh, and it was so funny because, like, I was, at one point, I was more interested talking to my girlfriend 
than I was at getting into the game because the game was like, you know, a few touchdowns, uh, separation, and I, something about this game I, I definitely knew um, during in the game, during the game, that we weren't going to come back. So that's about it. This is this short little crow video. Um, we go to the Redskins next, which will still be a pretty good test um, for us. Hopefully we can bounce back, you know. Um, it's nice to have a loss under your belt. To me, personally, I'd rather have my losses in the regular season than in the playoffs. So, you know, um, there's some players I'm disappointed in, but as a whole, there, I mean, there were some good good plays from players, you know. Um, Von Miller was stopping the run, it seemed like, and um, there was some, I think, I don't know if Ronnie Hillman coughed up the ball or not, because I, I didn't watch, like, some of the second half, because I was talking with my girlfriend, so um, it's, it's kind of funny. Sometimes, I mean, to me, at that point, my girlfriend was, more, she is more important than the Broncos, you know, so I was chit chatting with her while uh, while the game's going on. I was keeping updated, you know. I was hearing it upstairs. So, um, but that's about it. That's this video. Um, congratulations to the Colts and their fans. Um, I don't think you guys are gonna, you know, end up winning at all or anything like that. But you guys are making a statement so far in regular season. So. Hopefully we can see in the playoffs. You know, hopefully I can. Hopefully the Broncos do. They sh hopefully they make the playoffs. That'd be pretty sad. But that's about it. We ride together. We die together. We never give up. Go Broncos! Later.